Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to talk about this integral of this rational function. And as you can see, this is a rational function, right? So usually we are going to use partial fraction decomposition and then uh, we integrate each partial fraction that we have, right? Um, if you are to write down the form of the partial fraction decomposition, then do you see what's going on, what we are going to get here? So let's just write it down and see. So partial fractions, right? The partial fractions would be what you write it as a over x plus 2 and then plus b over, okay, x plus 2 because that's a repeated linear factor, right? So you're going to just keep writing it from the first power all the way to the highest power that you see in the problem, which is to the fifth power. So you get all this. No, actually, that's a 4, right? And then the last one, which is e over x plus 2 to the fifth power. And then we're just going to claim that, OK, so we can rewrite this rational function as the sum of all those fractions right here. And well, it's going to be a lot of work. Right, because you're gonna multiply if you multiply if you try to get the common denominator, then that, that means you're gonna multiply this first fraction here, top and the bottom by x plus two to the fourth. That one, x plus two to the third, and then this one, x plus two to the second, and so on. Right? Okay, so instead of doing it that way, yeah, so we are not going to do it this way, right? So um yeah, so don't do this, right? There is actually an easy way that you can do this problem, which is really just a simple u substitution. Then you may say, how do we do the u sub? Remember, this can still be written as a product, right? A product of just all the stuff at the top times one over x plus two to the fifth power. Okay, so x plus two can actually be considered as a linear, well, can be considered as an inner function. So in that case, we can just let u be that linear inner function, x plus 2. OK, so let's try that and see what would happen. Actually, good things will happen, right? So let's try that. So first, we are going to just let u, OK? Let u be um, x plus 2, OK? So that's our inner function in here. And then what is the du? The du is just going to be equal to 1 times dx because the derivative of x plus 2 is 1 and then times the dx. So you just get all that, right? And then um, it would actually be a good idea to solve for x here also, right? So if we solve for x, actually we can just do this. So solve for x, that means we're going to subtract the 2 from both sides of the equation. So we get u minus 2 is equal to x right here. So now going back to the problem, we can actually start doing the problem here. So we are going to get the integral, okay? Now, the 4, it's just the 4. Um, what about this x squared right here? We only let u be x plus 2, right? There is no x squared involved in there. But because we solve for x here, we can actually replace the x by u minus 2. So we are going to get u minus 2 squared, okay? So we have u minus 2, and then plus 19. We do the same thing here. We replace the x by u minus 2. And then there was a 14. OK, and then continue from there. Now, um, I also want to point out that we got to replace the dx as well. But dx is equal to du, so I can put the du right here. So I can simply just put the du right here. And then now for the bottom, the bottom is x plus 2 raised to the fifth power. And then x plus 2 is equal to u, right? So we can just write it as just write it as u to the fifth power. OK, so far so good. Do you see that now we have an integral that's entirely in terms of u, but we have a single turn at the bottom? Now, what happened is that we can uh, just expand everything from the top first and see what's going on. Feels like it's going to be messy, but turns out that it's actually not even bad. So we are going to have, what, 4? And then now this u minus 2 squared, right? u minus 2 squared, you can write it as u squared minus 4u plus 4. Right, and then 
then distribute the 19 to the u minus 2 so you are going to be getting 19u minus 38 and then plus the 14 and then u to the fifth and then the du that okay so far and then now distribute the four right distribute the four so we have the integral of 4u squared minus 16u plus 16 plus 19u minus uh, we can actually combine the negative 38 and then the 14 right so we are going to get negative 24 Okay, at the bottom is still u to the fifth, and then we have the du here. So now uh, combine more like terms because we just expanded this one. I mean, we just distributed the four from this first group right here. So we are going to have what? Let me see. So combine like terms. So we get the integral. We have four uh, u squared. That's the only quadratic term. And then we have negative 16u plus 19u. So we get positive 3u, adding 3u. And then what about the other one? The 16 minus the 24, so we get negative 8. And then we get u to the fifth. And then we have the du. Now, just continue from here. This becomes a really simple uh, simple integral for us to integrate, right? So uh, what can we do? It would be a good idea to actually just split up the integral into three because that's one turn over this u to the fifth, second turn over u to the fifth, negative eight over u to the fifth. So we have the integral. Now, we can split it up like... Um, we can factor all the four outside the integral at the same time. So we are going to get four integral u square over u to the fifth du plus, okay, second integral, three times u over u to the fifth du, and then minus eight integral one over u to the fifth du. Okay, and those each individual integrands are actually easy to simplify, right? Just use the rules of exponent. You get four integral of u to the minus three du plus three integral of u to the negative four du and then minus eight times the integral of u to the negative five, right, du. And then so we have all that. And then now what? We just integrate each u directly, right? So we have, now keep the four. And then this u to the minus three, we are going to be getting u to the, now if you add one to the minus three, you are going to be getting uh, a negative two. And then in front of that, u to the negative 2, you need to multiply by the reciprocal of this new power. So we are going to get negative 1 over 2. And then you do the same thing for the other two integrals, which would be um, u to the this one, negative 3, and then you are going to get negative 1 over 3. Continue. Minus u to the negative 4, right, at 1. So not negative 6, but negative 4 because you're adding one. And then what do we get here? Times negative one over four reciprocal again. And then, yeah, so we have all that, right? Um, we can actually do a, do some simplifying right here. Four times negative one over two. So that becomes a two, that becomes a one. And then the three gets canceled completely. The four becomes one, the eight becomes a two here. So we have negative 2 u to the negative 2 minus u to the negative 3 minus 2 u to the negative 4 okay so all we need to do right now is to plug um this original substitution the x plus 2 back into the u because our original variable is x right so plug the x plus 2 back into the u 
So now we have negative two and then that's x plus two, right? Do the same thing here. Plug the x plus two back in. Then lastly, And then we have that as the final answer. Now, if you don't want the negative exponents, you can actually rewrite this answer as negative two, okay? And then what do we get at the bottom? We are going to be getting uh, x plus two square, okay? And then the other one is going to be minus, and then we have one, right? x plus 2 to the third and then the other one minus 2 over and then x plus 2 to the fourth power and then plus the constant integration then we are finished oh i actually messed up on the sign on here because that's a minus that's another minus so this would be a plus i just realized that so change the sign right so this is, would be a plus here actually let me just let me just mark it right here okay let me just just mark it here that should be a plus sign that should be a plus sign here and then then there is no more problem Is that okay? That's it for this problem.